Oh, hey, hi. I'm Jalen Johnston. Um, and this here is Benatar. Um, yeah, Benatar hasn't really been feeling all that well for, uh, I don't know, for a while. Um, her problems haven't really been in this region or this region or even this region. They've been back there issues. Yeah. Um, got to the point where there was a smell that was permeating the entire house. I wouldn't be surprised if the neighbors were on the verge of uh, filing complaints with the city. But uh, as I did uh, research, I found that she was having um, some problems with impacted anal glands. Yes, that's actually a thing. You can uh, feel free to search it in, uh, you know, the Google search up there in your browser. Or even, hell, search YouTube for it, and you'll find some really fun and informative videos. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, apparently it happens in dogs. Uh, they've got, like, little smell stuff back there, kind of like a skunk has smell stuff back there. That when they do their biz, they, uh, it's got their own little signature on it. <laughs> Which is kind of hilarious to me. For some reason, um, just because I think poop is funny. Um, but yeah, apparently things can get a little messed up back there and they don't uh, empty the way they should. And uh, the only solution is to uh, take them to a groomer or to take them to a vet um, and pay a lot of money to have these glands manually expressed. Um, or if you're broke, like I am, um, you just gotta glove up and lube up, take matters into your own hands. Um, yeah, I stuck my finger up my own dog's ass. I, I don't think I've recovered. Um, she seems happier. She's like really relaxed. I wouldn't be surprised if she was like, Smoking a cigarette or something. That's gross. Um, but, yeah, um, I won't describe the process in too much detail because, like I said, you can search for the process of manually expressing a dog's anal glands all you want. Find out what I had to do. Um, but, thankfully, the, uh, the smell has mellowed out. Sayonara. So, um, as dirty and wrong as it felt, probably for both parties involved. Uh, it seems like it was the right course of action. And hey, I got to save the uh, hassle of vet trip and the hassle of some extra bills. So, yikes. I don't recommend um, doing it for recreational purposes because then you'd be a sick bastard. But uh, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And, um, as you can see, she's, uh, a lot more content now, I think. Right? Right? Show me your teeth. Show me your teeth again. I love my dog. I abuse her way too much, and she still puts up with me. Who knew? Okay, bye.